Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the intersection point of two lines on a two-dimensional graph. As you can see, I've created this graph on Desmos, and where these lines intersect, you find a point. Like with most of my videos, the algebra is going to be abstract, and that is because I want you to be using formulas that are true for life. With a lot of channels, you're going to find constants, but on my channel, I use mostly variables A, B, C, D, and X, etc. And like I said, that's because I want you to be using formulas that are true in all scenarios. Anyway, let's begin. Let's find where two lines intersect on a two-dimensional graph. This line in red is going to be represented by AX plus B that is y is equal to ax plus b, and this line in blue is going to be represented by y equals cx plus d. And what we're looking for is the intersection point here. If we can find it, we'll be able to replicate this graph on Desmos, which is pretty cool. Now, what is the method for finding this intersection point? Well, the key is to get the x-coordinate first, okay? And to do that, we must say that y, this line over here, is equal to y, this line over here. So what we get is ax plus b is equal to cx plus d. And to get the x-coordinate, we are simply going to isolate x, okay? So we have ax plus b equals cx plus d. If we subtract cx from both sides of this equation, we get ax minus cx plus b is equal to d. If we subtract b from both sides of this equation over here, we get ax minus cx is equal to d minus b. From here, we use the distributive method to get x times a minus c is equal to d minus b. And this is going to mean that at the intersection point, x is going to be equal to d minus b over a minus c. This is because we divide both sides of this equation over here by a minus c. So we found the x-coordinate for the intersection point over here, and it turns out to be d minus b over a minus c. Now here's what's really cool. If we plug this value of x into any of these equations, y equals ax plus b, or y equals cx plus d, we are going to get the y-coordinate of the intersection point. So if we get this right over here, and we plug it into this, or we plug it into this, we are going to get the y-coordinate of this point. Okay, so what types of formulas do we get when we plug this value of x into this equation or this equation? Well, what we get is y is equal to a times d minus b over a minus c plus b, and y is also equal to c times d minus b over a minus c plus d. So the intersection point can either be this or this, okay? Whichever way suits you. And if you have any doubts, you can check out this Desmos graph over here. I've left a link to it just below this video. So if you don't believe me, you can check out these coordinates over here, right? This point can either be this or this over here. It does not make a difference. And you can see this graph by clicking on the link just below this video. Now, just before you leave, there's something I want to show you. If these two 
expressions over here are equivalent, then you can make them equal to each other, like below. And what you get is these equations over here, and then you end up with a times d minus b plus b times a minus c is equal to c times d minus b plus d times a minus c. So you end up with this formula over here. And you can check this out, check if it's true on this graph on Desmos as well. And you can change the variables to see if it's consistent. I hope this video has been incredibly useful to you. For more videos like this, make sure you are tuned to my YouTube channel. One more thing before you go, if you want Mathematics Proofs content, do not forget to visit mathematics.proofs on Instagram. This is my page on Instagram. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching this clip and see you in my next video.